Life. Each one of us have many obstacles, some more challenging than others. Each of us deal with these obstacles in a multitude of ways, whether it's personal struggles, relationship problems, or everyday life-related stress. We understand how difficult it can be, but you are not alone. That's what this series is all about. We will be walking alongside you as you face some of life's toughest challenges, offering support and practical advice that can help you manage and overcome the difficulties you may be facing. Welcome to How to Deal. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about misophonia and how to deal with it. Misophonia is a condition where a person has an extreme sensitivity to certain sounds, often leading to strong emotions, enraged moods, physical reactions, or triggering anxiety. If you or someone you know is struggling with misophonia, then this video is for you. Before we begin, press on that like button, symbolized by the thumbs up, and make sure you are subbed to keep up to date with all our content. Now let's get started. Understanding Misophonia Before we jump into strategies for coping with misophonia, it's important to first understand what it is and why it happens. Misophonia is a neurological disorder where a person's brain has an extreme reaction to certain sounds, such as chewing, slurping, or tapping. These sounds can trigger a range of emotions, from annoyance to anger or even panic. Identifying your triggers One of the first steps in managing misophonia is to identify your specific triggers. This can help you avoid or prepare for situations that may trigger a reaction. Take note of the sounds that bother you and make a list. You can also use a sound app to record and listen to the sounds that trigger you. This can help you become more aware of your reactions and take steps to manage them. Coping Strategies Now that you know what triggers your misophonia, let's talk about some coping strategies you can use to manage it. Distraction When you feel triggered, try to distract yourself with a soothing activity, like reading a book or listening to calming music. Deep breathing. Practice deep breathing exercises to help you stay calm when you're feeling triggered. White noise. Use a white noise machine or app to drown out triggering sounds. Progressive muscle relaxation. This technique involves tensing and then relaxing your muscles. Start from your toes and work your way up. This can help you release tension and calm your body. Therapy. 
If your misophonia is interfering with your daily life, consider seeking therapy. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, and Exposure Therapy can help you learn to manage your reactions and reduce your sensitivity to triggers. So there you have it. Some tips and strategies for managing misophonia. Remember, misophonia is a real condition that can be challenging to deal with. But with the right tools and support, it is possible to manage it. We hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any other tips or strategies for dealing with misophonia, please share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video on how to deal. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated on future episodes. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue to provide quality videos. Thanks again.